today? Basketball <laughs> practice today. It wasn't bad. We look a little longer. Kind of like our basketball team. They look a little longer this year. We look a little longer. Hopefully we'll play, we'll improve like they've improved. Not as spirit as you would want to. You know, it wasn't bad. We, you know, really our ones are good. Our, our twos on both sides of the ball. There's a lot of young guys. Um, but, you know, really there's only two new guys. So, you know, we're running around. We've got a lot of guys that aren't practicing this spring. And so, you know, the way we always approach the next guy up and make everybody better. And when you get them back, then hopefully you're a better football team. So. What is it that you guys want to see the first few practices from the guys? Well, so, you know, we teach every day. We, we install through the first five. Actually, four of the five. On day four, we'll actually, next week, we'll actually practice in a short scrimmage to kind of see before we go on spring break, see who can tackle, who can't tackle, who can block, who can't block. We've done it the same way for years, and then we come back, and then we've got three weeks. So, But it's it's a turning. But this group here is a little older than we were a year ago. Little. They've had, even since offseason, they've had more of attention to detail and wanting to be. And we improved a lot in the six weeks of offseason, uh, where we came from. You know, it's good to have uh, Coach Dykes here. It's having him around, I'm able to ask questions. He's able to just watch from a distance. So it's good for me to have another guy to ask around. But it's it's, it's been, it's, it was fun. <laughs> the fact he's a former head coach at, you know, at a Power Five conference, how much does that bring to well, the yeah, even, sounding board? Yeah, even Chris Thompson, you know, he was the head coach at uh, Abilene Christian for six, seven years. To have guys, to have guys that uh, you can, that have already been sitting in my chair and having people you can bounce things off of. And, you know, I've got a good staff. The rest of the guys do a great job, too. So it's, you know, the biggest thing for us is, just, you know, it was kind of a thing that I liked out here. It was kind of a business as usual. It wasn't one of those that any different than that. So. If you had your brothers, are there a couple things you definitely want to have nailed down by the by the end oh, of no, the We have to be better in every area. You know, we're going to have to go on the road a lot next year. Some tough places, six really, six tough places. And so for us, I mean, we've, we've got to, we're going to have to be a better football team. For me, it's about playing hard and mentally and being tough. And, you know, one of the good things about last season is we, we played better on the road than we did at home. So hopefully that carries over into this next year, you know. But we got to score more points. Obviously, we've got to be better in scoring points with third downs. Um, and defensively, we got to tackle better in space, not necessarily at the line of scrimmage in space. And and we've got to play better in the red zone. You know, it's 2014. We only allowed 13 or 14 touchdowns in the red zone. In this league, you can win a lot of ball games if you allow that. Everybody this year was in the 20s or 30s or 40s. You know, it's, like I told people, we didn't play very good defense, but we ended up number two total. But to our standards, it's, it wasn't where we needed to be. So kicking game, um, tweaking it and get, finding it, you know, we get Jonathan Songs back healthy, and I think Bunch is better. you got guys that I think have a chance to us to be better next year. And so, uh, you know, if we can find some guys, a couple guys in the safety position, and really, the group that's coming in here is going to add a lot of depth to what we have. Gary, the other two seasons you've had as a head coach where you were coming off losing records, you had big bounce pack seasons, you know, one 10 plus games, that sort of thing. Is there a common thread there? Well, I don't know. I think uh, I think spring gets a lot tougher after you come off the way we've been here. Um, but, you know, this group, I think, you know, one of the things that happens is they, uh, they lose sight of reality. And one of the things that's happened around here is, you know, six and six, six and seven with the bowl game is not is not what we like. So it's so overall, you're looking for more intensity, probably. This uh... well, you won't you won't know, Adam. I thought they ran around really well. I was really impressed today with uh, Vernon Vernon uh, Scott moved to weak safety. Um, you know, Nico Small had an unbelievable off season. I mean, squatted over 600. He's, he power cleaned a night of champions 420. He benched almost 400, or he did do 400. You know, and you had some guys in those positions that, that had to play last year that are just, uh, we're going to be stronger, we're going to be bigger. Um, you know, you have a guy like Blacklock that's a 330 pound nose guard. We get Joe, Sammy back after uh, spring break. Um, but Traven's not out here, so that means the younger linebackers. Montreal's not out here, so you got right now some of the younger linebackers. And so for us, 
um, how do we go up the number two? So I'm really excited about Ben Banagu and uh, Bosom, the way they were in the offseason, the kind of numbers they had. You know, the problem we had really with uh, Josh and, and McFarland really over the last couple of years is they couldn't really lift as much because of injuries they'd had before and you couldn't get as strong as you needed to get. And so for us, um, having a group that could go and lift, get you back in the weight room, the whole group, not have to you know sit out on something is I think will make a difference. When you got four D tackles coming in in the fall, the defensive end, you know, you got two or three safeties, you got two a couple corners. Our football team on special end defense is gonna is gonna change a little bit depth wise than what we have right now. Out here right now it's a, we're a mass unit a little bit as far as but it's okay to be honest with you. Because we're you know we're you know, it's one of those, we've always said it's an opportunity and somebody out of this group will actually step up and become somebody.